know that it's warm outside, but we are very blessed with a beautiful morning today. And we want to thank you all for joining us this morning as we celebrate the grand opening and ribbon cutting for Fort Tippett Kitchen right here in Wasico, Texas. Let's give them a round of applause. So it's been a beautiful morning and you all had an opportunity already to check out the beautiful space inside and the great work that they've done to develop this beautiful space. Uh, we're so proud of all of the workers and team who put this together. It's a beautiful area and we're so excited to be able to present a space like this to the beautiful community of Wasico and of course to the Mid Valley area. And as you know, we see businesses come into Wasico all the time and we have to keep in mind that these, these businesses in our community serve all of the Mid Valley and it's such an exciting time for us here in Wasico to see this phenomenal growth. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining us today. My name is Barbara Garza and I'm the President and CEO for the Wasico Area Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. And again, our job and role is to come out here and celebrate business and celebrate the amazing growth in this community. And we do that alongside our amazing partners, our ambassadors, and all of these great individuals who come together to celebrate business in our community. And to get us started with this ceremony, I'd love to invite our Mayor of Wasico, Mayor Adrian Gonzalez, to share a few words. Welcome, welcome to all the red coats. How does it feel this weather wearing this jacket is not as bad as in the summertime when we have to wear jackets and it was extremely hot. So at least we're blessed with some better weather and good weather coming up. So again, I'm not gonna lie. When I would pass by here and I'd see the building, I thought it was gonna be a kitchen supply place. So when I walked in, I was it was a big surprise. And as I'm walking in there and looking at everything, I was like, wow, this is amazing. You know, there's no excuse for us not to be healthy or eat healthy. Now we have everything that we have to come in here and try to eat a healthy, uh, a healthy meal. And then as I'm walking in, you see we have a little steps here. You can go get your donuts there. You can work out here and then you can finish off healthy here. So what a great little plan that we have here. But again, this is, I believe, the eighth location that you all have and the biggest location. Yeah! And it's like I always say, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys one thing. When you build and you, you have your spot in Westaco, it's always the best selling or your, the best location you'll have. You'll make more revenue here in Westaco than in probably other stores. And we get that. I'm not saying it just to say it. Ms. Barbara, am I lying? No. Uh, so, again, we thank you for choosing the city of Westaco, the Mid Valley. I wish you nothing but the best. I know myself and the commission, Commissioner Lopez and Commissioner Farias, will be here a lot, and myself, you know, uh, because we like shakes and we like healthy meals. Look, Commissioner Farias already got one. So, again, I want to welcome you guys. I'm ex we are extremely excited. And we're extremely excited to be here for the ribbon cutting, the official opening of your of your spot. Um, again, whatever you need from the city of Westaco, we're here to help. And we thank you, and we're looking forward to eating healthy. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Mayor. And as we continue with our ceremony, I do want to recognize a few of the folks who are with us today. I do want to recognize Ms. Michelle Rodriguez. She's a representative from David Fuentes' office for Precinct 1. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have representatives from Senator Morgan Lamantias, West Lego office. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of course, our Red Coat Ambassadors, and our Red Coat Ambassadors are business leaders across the community. They run different businesses across Wessico and the Mid Valley, and they come out to support other businesses when it comes to celebrations such as this. So thank you to our Red Coats for being here today. And then we have a uh, representative from the Wessico EDC as well. Thank you so much for joining, joining us, folks. And most importantly, the family, the friends, the teams who put these programs together who make businesses like this work. Thank you to all of you who are here to celebrate with the team and celebrate this huge accomplishment right here in Wasico. And as we have the opportunity to check out the beautiful space, the staff, y'all have done a phenomenal job. It's beautiful inside. I'm so excited for the, the community of Wasico and Mid Valley area to come out and check out this beautiful space and their menu. And I think uh, the best way to, to hear more about the services that are offered, the amenities that you'll see here is to bring up some of the team members to share a few words about all the great services that they have to offer here. So to get us started, I'd like to introduce and welcome Andrea Sandoval, the marketing director for Fork to Pit Kitchen right here in Wasco. Thank you, Andrea. So we're extremely thankful to see all of you guys who came out here today. It's 
extremely touching to see the community, all of the teams that came together to work to build this, and especially our influencers, our ambassadors, people who wanted to come and support. It's been a lot of hard work, and I'm extremely excited just to see how it all came together and how a bunch of those girls are going to do. So thank you all for coming. I'm going to hand it off to Nick. Hi everyone, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here this morning. It's great to be here in the Mid Valley. Finally, we are uh, really excited to be here and uh, there's really nothing more gratifying and fulfilling than not just creating an operation that works, but that serves others every single day. And uh, that's a huge proponent of, of what we do here at Fort Cupid Kitchen. So we're really excited to bring that over here to the city of West Coast. So that's all I kind of wanted to say. And uh, without further ado, I'm gonna pass this over to Mr. Alex Velasco, our co-founder our co-owner and CEO. Yeah! Hello everybody, thank you for coming out. Hello, what's the code Texas? Uh, this is my business partner, Jose M. Guerra. Yeah, hey Jose! You know, and before we uh, we uh, go and, and start, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just say that we are just getting started. We yeah. still have Brownsville, we have Harlingen, we have uh, a store in, in like Edinburgh. We have a whole bunch more for uh, for y'all come, 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 come coming up. Yes! So. Nice work! Yeah, Woo! Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be seeing, seeing us for sure. Woo! Thank you, Jose. He's spilling the beans. So, uh, we're, yeah. Let me start off by saying, I, I wrote this down because I wanted to get it uh, crystal clear. I didn't want to miss anything. So, good morning, Westlico. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day and coming out. Uh, and those of you that are from throughout the Rio Grande Valley. Um, today is an incredible day for us, not just for Fort Pitt Kitchen, but for our entire, entire community here in the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, first, I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to everyone here, whether you've been with us from the start or are just discovering Fort to Fit. Today, you're a vital part of this journey and we couldn't, done, we couldn't have done this without you. So round of applause for y'all. When we started Fort to Fit, we wanted to do more than just offer food. We wanted to redefine what fast, convenient eating could look like. Here in the Rio Grande Valley, we've seen how overconsumption has impacted our health. It's easy to eat too much when, you, when the options available aren't designed with our well-being in mind. But instead of educating people on how to truly nourish their bodies, society has done a great job of shaming those who struggle and handing out quick fixes, such as pills, treatments, and you know the rest. At Fort to Fit, we believe in a different path. We believe in education, in understanding how food and nutrition can support your body's natural ability to thrive. We're not just feeding people, we're giving them the tools to stay mobile, energetic, and healthy for the long haul. We're here to help you protect your body from the inside out. Take our chicken enchiladas, for example. Just two minutes in the microwave and you're eating something real, made fresh from our commissary kitchen here in McAllen, Texas, with the nutrients you need to fuel your day. No gimmicks, no shortcuts, just real food that fits your life. If you take a look around inside Fort to Fit, this isn't just a restaurant, it's a symbol of what's possible when, when we choose to break the cycle of unhealthy eating habits and quick fixes. Together, we're building a future where people have access to better food, better education, and a better way of living. To our amazing team, up oh, one second, I lost my, my path. To our amazing team, our partners, I mean, you guys come through. <laughs> like, this is not easy. We're on a, we push the gas pedal like crazy. Um, we've been moving so fast since 2018. It's been wild, it's been a journey. It's been 
uh, heartaches, sweat, blood, tears, hard grinding work from all of us. Um, it's really, it's been really amazing. Our, and our partners, Tiffany from Lobat has come through for us so, so many times. Um, our partners, our team, everybody has just come through for this amazing company. Thank you. Thank you for believing in this vision, for supporting us, and for being a part of this movement. This is just the beginning, like Jose said, and we're so excited for what's ahead. Thank you, Westlico. Let's keep pushing forward, one healthy meal at a time. Thank you, guys. questions for you so congratulations once again what an amazing accomplishment and again we have to say we're here in Wasago so Wasago is the largest location your eighth location is what I'm, I'm learning and so that's so amazing and I I picked up this little flyer right now and just wanted to, to read out for those who are joining us online as well if you're interested in picking up food here at Fort Fit Kitchen there's a lot of ways you can do that so Alex can you share uh, with the community here and those online um, how they would be able to access the meals here. I know that they can come in and browse the store and actually purchase, or they can purchase on your mobile app. Um, what other suggestions would you give those who are interested in changing their lifestyle and, and switching to these kind of meal prep type foods? Yeah, we wanted to do it in a way where it was uh, fast, convenient, and easy for the user, uh, just like fast food is today. So we have over 60 plus different options ready to eat. We have breakfast, salads, uh, sandwiches, poultry, red meat, seafood, um, you name it. We also have acai bowls uh, that are made to order. We have protein shakes made with real fruit, not pasteurized fruit with uh, an immense amount of sugar. We don't believe in that. We use real fruit. We use a premium optimum whey protein. We have pea protein for those vegan, off, uh, vegan lovers. Um, and we have juice blends. Um, we have low calorie refreshments that you would get at Starbucks, like iced coffees, um, just lower calories, um, better options. Uh, that's what Fortune Fit has to offer. Yeah! Awesome, and I know I saw, for, for those that love the pumpkin spice season, you can actually get that here at Fortune Fit Kitchen, so feel free to check that out. I also wanted to ask on your menu here, you have pork on the grill and I see it, it says Nolana, Conway and Blasico. So not all the locations have that. Can you talk to us about what pork on the grill is? Yeah, that's a new concept that we released. Jose and I, we were talking about it for so long and we were like, should we offer a hot food option to everybody? And uh, we went back and forth and we finally pulled the trigger. Uh, we opened our first pork on the grill at, in Nolana. Uh, it's on Nolana and 29th in McAllen, Texas. We have our second one on Conway and 495 in Mission. And this is the third one. Uh, we will have a fourth Woo! one in Edinburgh. Uh, that's on McCall and Freddy Gonzalez. And the hot food option is just amazing because we can easily adapt with every culture that we uh, find in different communities, right? So uh, at the moment, we do have different protein options like chicken, chicken thigh, shrimp, um, later on fish. We'll introduce other proteins, other carbs, and whatnot uh, that we find fit. But you can build your bowl, you can have it in as little as six minutes. We pride ourselves on being fast and convenient, just like fast food. Um, so that's what you can do at Fork on the Grill. You can build from the kiosk, or you can get on our mobile app, My Fork to Fit, and you can build your bowl. Uh, the My Fork to Fit app is amazing. It makes it super convenient. You can load up your wallet, you can shop from the My Fort to Fit app. You can see real time stock count. And we're just finding ways to make it even easier for y'all to shop, whether it's a ready to eat meal or a hot food option, just like pork on the grill. Awesome. Thank you so much. And again, congratulations on this beautiful space. As we continue with the ceremony, I'd like to invite one of our Red Code ambassadors to come up and share a few words. So please join me in welcoming Mr. Dave, uh, Daniel Montes with South Texas College. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful morning in Westaco, Texas. You know, I, uh, I work at South Texas College, and one of the things that I teach in, in management is location. The only thing that is more important than location is the product. And I think that this is a great product. I, I haven't tried it, but I was in there right now, and I can't wait to try it. 
it, it's something that we talk about at, at the chamber of quality of life. And quality of life in a community begins with the nutrition, the education, the health care. All these things are tied together to create a better quality of life. And as we welcome new members to the chamber, we see that these folks are bringing in those necessary things to create a better quality of life for our citizens here in Wessico. So I, I want to congratulate you, first of all, for, for being here today. And I also want to thank you for selecting Wessico and also for providing us something that is very, very important for our community. Belonging to the chamber, it's, it's a brotherhood, a fraternity, if you will, that stands for quality, for high standards. And when you go into any community, if you look for that seal, that emblem that says chamber, that means that that organization belongs to an elite group of people that provide quality service and product. So we're very pleased to welcome Portsmouth to our brotherhood, to our chamber here in Wessico. And at this time, I would like to present Nick, Alex, Jose, a plaque and a certificate that you can uh, display proudly in your, or in your uh, store here. It lets people know that you are a member of the chamber, an organization that stands for quality and for high standards. Can I have you all up here in front of the table for a picture? So I think with that, we're ready to come down and do the ribbon cutting here. So if you can join me in three, two, and one. All right, congratulations, Board of Education in Westlake.
if we can keep all of the team here for a quick photo, those of you who are here, don't go too far. We're going to bring our city leadership in for another photo in just a moment.